Good morning, we are in Teddyan Wood. Uh, this is about a 45 to 50 year old woodland that is naturally regenerated. Uh, the woodland is fairly even age. Um, it's had one round of thinning which I carried out about six years ago. Um, we cut strips in the woodland. So if I turn the camera that way, let's have a look. So that was a strip that we cut uh, six years ago um, and we're getting fairly good levels of regeneration in here. Uh, this patch through to the back of the oak was predominantly older um, and we've got some really good regrowth. So uncharacteristically for all the woodlands that I've worked in the last 10 years, this one has got hard track running through the middle of it, which has made my life much, much easier. Um, all of the timber's been brought trackside and I'm now heading in to get 100 tonnes out because um, the lorry's coming up next week to pick it up. To reduce the impact of wind throw in this woodland, um, because nothing's been done to it for so long, um, I've staggered the rides that we've cut. Um, they are roughly 15 metres apart. So we've got this one going up here. And then we've got that one going down there. And I've alternated all the way up through the woodland now. Um, so we've now left with blocks which will be where we start the next round of thinning. Because the woodland is very even age the impact of ash dieback is going to have quite a big effect on it. To reduce that now we're going to have to start a, plant, uh, a regime of replanting. Um, I'm not sure what species we're going to be putting in here. I would imagine cherry will be quite favourable because that puts on good growth rates. Um, probably something like a Norway maple um, and probably some beech. Um, we'll have to see what the owner wants. So once we come to do next thinning, um, we will use these clear straight lines to highlight good retained trees which have got good form like this sycamore. Um, and then we will be halo thinning around them um, to allow them to grow on to produce some good quality saw logs. As with all the woodlands in West Wales, ash dieback is featuring very, very heavily. Um, our management plan is going to have to change to take this into account. Um, we've lost 
an awful lot of good quality saw logs out of this wood um, as a result of dieback. Uh, the timber gets stained brown and is not very good for uh, saw logs. In some parts of the woodland we've deliberately left a mess to try and increase the levels of dead wood uh, which in 20 to 30 years will be a really good wildlife habitat. And we've also tried to increase the levels of hanging dead wood. Um, again, that's an underrated habitat within the woodland um, and it helps with the ecology.